Welcome to EZLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning from two monematics. Our topic for today is rotation. So today we are going to be looking for the image when you are given the center and the angle of rotation. So in our previous lesson, we had the image and the object, but we didn't have the center of rotation, nor did we have the angle of rotation. So today we are swapping things a bit. What's in the case where you are given now the image, you have the image, the, the object, the center and the angle of rotation. How do you get the image? And this, what we are discussing today is not on the Cartesian plane. What you are discussing today is the one that is not on the Cartesian plane. We'll discuss later on when you're given a center on the Cartesian plane, how, how you're able to do the same thing. So we are finding the image of the following triangle and you've been given the center of rotation. As you can see, the center and the angle of rotation. So the angle of rotation in this case is going to be a positive 60. So it means it's moving anticlockwise or in this direction at uh, 60 degrees. All right. So what do we do? What's the first thing that we do? So the first thing that you're going to do is pick one point that you're going to start with. Let's say I pick point A. So I'm going to draw a straight line from point A to the center using a ruler. So you can see I drew from point A to the center using a ruler. The next thing you're going to do is use your protractor and place your protractor from the center that is lying directly. You can see the protractor is lying on line A O. Let me call the our center O. So it's lying on AO such that we want to measure the angle between AO and A prime is supposed to be 60 degrees. And as you can see, using our protractor, our 60 degrees at, is at this point, as you can see. So you will make a point on the just next to the protractor using a pencil like I have done to show that this is where the 60 degrees are. So I hope you've noted that down. The next thing now is you join now from this point to the center using a ruler. So this is what you get using a ruler. You make a line using a ruler. So when you make a line, you'll see now this is the point where we had marked from our previous measurement. So it means this angle is 60 degrees. All right, I hope you put that in mind. Then the next thing, you're going to measure now the distance from A to O, to the center of rotation. So if you measure the distance, you place your ruler in this manner, as you can see, has been placed in the diagram. So when you place the ruler, you notice O, A, O is around, this is 4, 4. 4. 5, 4. 5, 6, 7, around 4.7. So the moment you get that, then you also want to measure, it has to be the same distance with O, A prime. So you do the same case, so you use the same measurement. So you put the same measurement, you can see, so you want 4.7, which is going to be 4.567. So it's going to be around here. So you make that point and make sure you remember this is going to be your A prime. This is where your A prime is. So that's how we got the image using the center, the first, the first point image using the center and the angle of rotation. Next, we pick another point. Let's say, for example, we pick point B. Again, you're going to use a ruler. You're going to join point B to the center, that is our O, using a ruler. And then you're going now to place your protractor again, as we did before, on line B O. And you can see how we are placed the center is on the center of rotation. And you can see how it's lying on the line. And you make sure it is correctly lying on the line on a straight line as you can see. There is no break. The line is not moving outside. Make sure it is correct. So you'll see our angle of 60 degrees is at this point. And you see why it is important for you to place the protractor well on the line because you can see there's another line here that we had drawn before and if you're not careful you might think it's that line it's not like you can see that is not 60 degrees as you can see this is actually around 58 59 but at point a that's next to point a is where we have our 60 degree after that you make a point and then you join with a ruler again from the center to that point you see the point that you had created is here you join using a ruler 
as you can see we have done then the next part this is what we're supposed to be having so now we have our bo and then now we have this line this is where the the it has been rotated to. So the next thing we want to do is get the distance from B to O. It should be the same distance from O to B prime. So you place our ruler again and measure that distance. So from B to O, you notice is also still around 4.9, around 4.9. So you measure also B uh, O B prime on this on this line, the line that we just uh, produced. So you measure the same. So we want up to this point. As you can see, we have made the point there. This is where the B prime is going to be. So this is going to be our B prime. Right? I hope you got that. Now we have our A prime down here. We have our B prime. Next, we want to get our C prime. So our C prime, we repeat the procedure again. You're going to draw a line from C to the center using a ruler, as you can see that we have drawn. So this is what you're going to draw if you, to get when you draw using a ruler. And then now you place again your protractor and you can see how it's lying on line C or comfortably. Make sure your, your protractor is lying perfectly well on that line. And on the, there's, a, there's a line that is usually on the protractor. Make sure it is lying uh, on the center. And this is where our 60 degrees are is, as you can see from the, even the protractor as indicated. And then now you draw a line from that point. Remember, this is the point we had made. You draw a line using a ruler to the center. And this is what you get. Once again, now you measure the distance from OC using a ruler. And you need to ensure that is the same distance we have from O to C prime. So you measure that distance. You notice in this case, C to O is around 10, 11, it's around 11. Uh, for 10.1 so let's look at uh, what we have you use the same now distance from O uh, C prime so we use the same distance so you get O C prime you can see this is where it is as we have indicated so you make the mark and this is what you get so this is going to be your C prime so we have. you see we have our B prime we have our A prime and we have our C prime. So that means the next step is going to, we are going to join this point, all of them. So we will join point A prime, B prime. So we have our A prime, we have our B prime and we have our C prime. And then we join also now our A prime with C prime and B prime. So that is what we have. Once again, this is our A prime, our B prime, and then our C prime. And finally, this is what we have. So you can see this triangle here was rotated under 60. You can see this rotation. You can see it's the same triangle, but you can see the rotation very clearly. After that, you get your image. So that's how you do it uh, when you're not given the Cartesian plane. Uh, it is as simple as that. So in this case, you just need a ruler and a protractor and you're good to go. So watch out for more revision questions like this uh, on the app. You can use your own exercise book and try it out using a mathematical table, ruler, protractor, and you'll be able to check how that happens. So see you in the next lesson.